Third all-time meeting between Liberty and Kentucky Wesleyan on the football field. Saturday night at Williams Stadium, the Flames coming in, wanting to bounce back from a loss last week. On the other side, the Panthers come in 0-3. Big crowd, more than 15,000 strong on hand for this one, and the Flames gave him plenty to cheer about. First quarter, first play from scrimmage for Liberty, Josh Woodrum. Going to air it out for Petey Peterson down the far sideline, 55 yards. Put the Flames up 7 to nothing after the PAT, just 19 seconds into the ball game. First Kentucky Wesleyan possession, Flames force the three and out. But as the Panthers go to punt, it's Andrew Yock. Not on my block. Blocked punt will result in a 30-yard touchdown run. Yock takes it to the house. Flames lead 14-0 early first quarter. Later first quarter, Flames up 17-7 now, and Woodrum again hooks up with Peterson. Little pitch and catch over the middle, 21 yards for a touchdown. PAT would make it a 24-7 Liberty lead after the first quarter. Second quarter, Liberty up 31-7 now. Kentucky Wesleyan quarterback Dalton Oliver trying to get his team back in the game. Midfield, this pass is going to be picked off by Kevin Fogg. His third INT of the year, eighth of his career. Going to take this one back 39 yards all the way down to the Kentucky Wesleyan 23-yard line. That's where the Flames offense would set up shop. Second and goal now from the Kentucky Wesleyan 2. And here's DJ Abner to infinity and beyond. Touchdown. First of two on the night for Abner. Flames running away with this one. 38-7 the score. Abner would wind up with 108 yards on the ground. First 100-yard rushing game of his career. Next drive for Kentucky Wesleyan, a third and nine play. Oliver picked off again. This time it's Gary Sampson, the freshman. Takes it 31 yards to the house. First career touchdown. Comes on a pick six and put the Flames up 45-7 heading into the locker room. Second half, Flames up big. Javin Shashadi getting some time at quarterback here on a third and 11. He's going to find Dez Rice on the screen pass. Rice turns the corner and hits pay dirt. 23 yards to the house. One of two touchdowns for Dez on the night. First career touchdown pass for Shashadi as well. Fourth quarter, speaking of career first, how about Austin Kegler? He finds the end zone for the first time in his career. One-yard touchdown run. The sophomore out of Huntsville, Alabama, holding it down for Westminster Christian. One of his two touchdowns on the night. Liberty goes on to win easily. 73-7, the final score over Kentucky Wesleyan. Ties the second most points the Flames put up in a game in school history. Big night for the Flames offensively. They put up 462 total yards and forced four turnovers on the defensive side. We mentioned Abner earlier led the Flames with 108 yards on the ground. Said he got a little nervous on his first touchdown. I was kind of afraid. I seen the safety kind of eyeing me, and uh, I'm kind of light up top, so I figured I can't really drive my way into the end zone, so why not just try to dive over it? And, you know, that's pretty much – that's my second touchdown diving over the end zone. But um, I think it was pretty good. I think I, I loved it. We need to spread the reps throughout it. So I think a game like this, it kind of just uh, brings the defense together because everybody on the team is going to play in a game like this. And uh, I think everybody that went out there did their job today. Well, it's definitely something we emphasize, talking about on both sides of the ball, that we need to play well early. We need to execute well early. And we just thought that we have an opportunity to throw some balls down the field, and we thought our receivers maybe a little bit better in their corners. So it was good to see us execute. It's one thing to, to call a play. Uh, it's another thing to, to totally execute it. So it was good to see that those guys did that. 